Hey guys, here's a, um, a tutorial on camera tracking in 3D spaces. Uh, sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while, I've just been busy with university and uh, just a bit low on inspiration of this sort of stuff, but yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, this is a nice, just simple shot from HOPD, the opening, and uh, the, the, uh, the text follows the characters quite nicely. And it'd be good for like outro uses, stuff like that. Um, I've got an example here. So I was watching this AMB earlier that my buddy Dave showed me, and he just wanted me to sort of help him with how to maybe do this. I'll link his channel in the description. He's super awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it. Got another few things here, so I just did another test here. You can see what sort of stuff. I did so you can see it's quite nice smooth. So I've got another clip here. Just move this back up. Yep, I've got another clip here now and this is quite simple sort of thing, but you can like do a nice text maybe here following it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. So we click on our thing and just turn this off. We've got three D camera tracker. Yep. And That'll be in this perspective bit up here, so if you go to effect, perspective it'll be there. Alright. So you apply that here, and you let it do its thing. The longer the clip, the longer it will take to actually do the analyzing. Uh, you can see my one's going quite quickly. So they've got decent speed on my laptop. Or at least, I guess, in terms of it. After Effects because half the time my laptop's really bad. So now you see all these little crosses on and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna help these up a bit so I can see it better. So I just want to click something that is stuck and won't really move. And if you just scrub along, you can see which ones are just like really stuck there. So, like, I think this blue one here, this blue one fits quite nicely. So I'm gonna, if you right click, you will get these options when selecting one of the points. Uh, solid, so you can put some sort of like, uh, if you make a shape or something out of a solid, you can use that. A null object, so you can like attach 3D things to it maybe, something like that. Or I'm going to use a text for now. So the text I will have can't really see it at the moment, but I'm going to change it uh, to test and I'm going to up the scale of that a hell of a lot so it's up the scale, there you go, you can see it now Let's bring it down a bit via the white axis might take a few bits quite up there also I'm going to rotate this a little bit as well you don't, I just want it to be on that ever so slight rotation, so sorry for my throat by the way, it's uh it hurts a little bit, so I think two yeah two is just about perfect. And if we scrub along we see how nice it just follows everything there. And you can apply this to the same sort of technique, so if I go back to um the footage and click on the camera tracker you can maybe find a point on a wall or something that if I like let's see, how does this point follow? see that point is not always there so you don't really want to use that point maybe something like this one so I'm just going to have another one create some more text and I'll also name that, so I'll name that Kenshiro AMD probably spelled that wrong, but oh well we up the scale a bit and you can move these all about as well so it doesn't really matter where you put it on the actual um, thing to move these so keep popping that just want to put it right at the top here any second now and we'll bring this to the right Also, uh, they wanted to know a bit about overlays and stuff, so to make it look like it's more a part of the wall, I'll show you that in a second. 
Yeah, so I think this will be a nice track on this one as well. We'll just have a look in a second. So yeah, out there, click off it. As you can see, it's the point was more down here, so it's following this more. So you might just want to manually adjust that, but it's decent for what it is now. Anyway, uh, so yeah, in terms of modes, uh, that's where you want to go. So F4 to change this area here. We're going with modes, and we want to click at these options. So I think it depends more on the color you have, but I want to make it sort of wally structure, I guess. Maybe look at the overlay, then someone's work. We'll change the color of this to white, I think. So if you look at that overlay now, it looks more like it's part of the background. Or if you go like a soft light, maybe something like that. And on. So you can see what sort of how it looks in terms of that. Just zoom in a bit. Yep. Yeah. So that's basic sort of 3D camera tracking. It's really quite simple. All you have to do is just apply the tracker and choose a point really. And that's about it. So yeah. I'm gonna be infrequent with these and sorry I know I've got quite a few ones to do, quite a few basic uh, After Effects tutorials to look at as well. For you guys who've not really used After Effects before. Um but I just I, I get really demotivated with the basic ones, but yeah. Anyway, this has been Control MV signing out. Thanks for looking at my stuff, guys. And I think I passed over 50 subs. I'm pretty sure. Maybe about 70 something now. So thanks for the subs, guys. Uh, I'll keep you updated with some new stuff soon. Uh, probably in about two or three days if I'm not feeling lazy. So yeah. Enjoy. Uh, if you have any uh, problems with this, message me. If you have any examples that you actually do use, uh, send it me because I'd love to see it. Anyways, uh, see you guys later. See you in the next tutorial.